What's up, guys? It's King Daddy D Mac, and welcome, welcome back to another episode of FTB Infinity here in the Hermitcraft server. And look at me, look at me, all decked out in my wizard gear from last episode. And oh my goodness, I I cannot even tell you, I got a lot done. I got a lot figured out. I understand the stuff now. And guess what? All this AE stuff, all this thomic AE stuff. Yes, it's everything I ever dreamed and more. That's right. Thank you so much, guys, for helping me out in the comments. Let me know how this thing works. I was getting so upset last episode trying to get this Essentia provider to work. We spent like all episode just being able to craft it, and it didn't end up doing what I wanted it to do. I thought that it was going to be the same as an ME interface because it looks like one. Look at it. It looks just like it. So I thought I should be... I can shift click in here and look in. I thought I should be able to shift click in there. Well, apparently, the whole deal is all you got to do is put an interface onto that. And then this interface can interact with that one. Yeah, that was the whole thing. So I don't even know why I didn't even think of doing that. But you know what? It's it's hard sometimes when you're when you're just getting stuff. So I unlocked a bunch. I went through and I was getting frustrated that we didn't have everything. I unlocked a bunch of stuff and um, I found out, first of all, by making this guy, I unlocked this before, but I never actually read it, looked at it, I couldn't figure out what it is. But basically, this guy is going to let us do auto crafting in our crucible. So let's go check this out. I should have it all ready to go. In last episode, we set up our... What is this called? Arcane Infuser, Runic Matrix, Arcane Pedestal. I think it's something like that. So we've got our Niter now because we're, we're upgraded. Real wizards use Niter. They don't use fire. And before, when we set this on, we'd manually throw stuff in, blah, blah, blah. So if you make two of these guys, which is just the Vis Filters, Essentia Tube, nothing too complicated, and the Greatwood Planks. And this is what I did for... Like, when I was testing it out myself, I'd do that, and I'm like, that doesn't seem like anything. I can't interact with it, I can't do it, and I even clicked it with my wand, and it didn't do, it didn't do anything. But then I realized I just didn't have enough magic in my wand, and it, it really will. It will. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, man, it's crazy. And I kept getting it confused with this, thinking this is what this thing was. But anyway, what this guy does is it lets us be able to throw stuff into it and it can store a bunch of different stuff and in fact this is another thing that can be stored with it this will allow it so i think it gets two additional recipes per matrix that you add on so if we put on matrix onto there so actually let me let me rip these back off and look so we have no additional recipe slots i put on one it should give us two, but you know what? Maybe the recipe has to be in there for it to work. So, you know what? Just take my word for it. If I need to, I'll look up in the book. But let's put on four matrix things. Still looks the same. But, but, but. Then if in this little slot back here, we put on this guy. And then we put on an ME interface right there. And it's linked into our system. Okay. Doing good. Now, we should be able to, if we use our interface terminal, see? Alchemic Construct. Awesome! So I made up a recipe for Thaumium and one for the Balance Shards. So, and doing that is in here. So, like, for the Balance Shard, you just need to take any one shard you want, put it in there, and, and in fact, let me... Do I have them on me? I don't have them on me. So you put any shard you want in there. It doesn't matter. And then you put the Balance one there, and then you'd say, make a pattern. So that's how you do that. So I did that for thaumium as well, which is just iron ingot equals a piece of thaumium. We put them in here, so there and there, and this thing will figure out what of our, oh man, I gotta put these away. I keep setting them down everywhere. <laughs> this thing will figure out what types of essentia is needed for the recipe, and then this, We'll put in that single item that you required. Okay, cool. So why don't we go ahead and try this? So we should be able to see in our workbench now, if we go to craftable items, thaumium, sweet, and 
bound shard. So now, in the thing, if I go here and I say, let's say give me five, bam, five of those, five of those, start, and then you have to go over here and you have to activate something. This is what I was trying to show you before. Um, you just gotta click on there, bam, and then it will know the, the different types of stuff that you need. It'll poop it right out at you, isn't that sweet? So now, because we have the matrices on the side, I can also tell it to make thomium. We'll say make 10 thomium. And then over here, and now we finally get to see what I was trying to show you. See now it has the down arrow? Press down arrow, and you have to highlight it at least once to be able to do that. But it's saying that we have nine available slots for recipes. And that's because two, four, six, eight, and then I'm guessing the one recipe if you had no matrices. So pretty cool. So now we don't have to think about anything. We don't even have to know what we need. As long as we have the Essentia in there, it will know to do it if we put on the recipe. Isn't that freaking cool? It's the best thing ever. No water needed, nothing, no fire, just that's it. That's it. So now we can get that stuff hand over fist. I'm a little curious what will happen if I don't have the required magic. If it will just say can't do craft or if it will cause some type of bad flux. But we should be getting everything like recipes perfect. No, no negative flux going on whatsoever. So pretty cool. So we've got that done. Now the next things that I unlocked in here. And by the way, this will tell us Crucible. The created object is ejected out of the front inventory. So here what we can do also if we want it to be completely automated, I wanted it to spit out so that we could like see what's going on. But I could go ahead, throw on an interface right there. You know, I'm curious if you can make this, I bet you you can make it taller. But we'll throw on an interface there and then we'll wire this over. And this stuff's temporary guys. This stuff is gonna get removed we're just learn once we move to our new base, we're just learning how everything goes so we can know how our setups should be. So let's see. Oh. Cable. Do we have cables in there? Nope. It's craft up. Dang it! <laughs> I know I have more cables somewhere. Oh man. I really feel like somebody comes over and takes our cords, our cables. I know they don't, but. It just feels like it. We go through it so quickly. Just craziness. Um, huh, all at once. Also, Biffa stopped by and says, sorry about the quarry, this is yours. Oh my god. <laughs> so I guess at some point he must have overlapped our quarry. I haven't even checked to see how our, our quarry's doing. It's doing fine still. It's doing fine still. Anyway, let's go ahead, let's make up this cable. Let's make up 30, should be enough. Bam! All right, finally. Let's get this wired in. Wham! And it's all on its own signal, so now we can craft the shard thing and it will go through our system completely. Oh, oh, this is why the crafts were messing up. Because look at that, it's still, I, when I took stuff out, I never threw it back into the system to let it know that it completed the craft. So that's why it was getting gummed up before. Anyway, so we can craft up another if we want to. Five. Start. And can we see? Yep, going through those crafts. And it's spitting it right into the interface. Super cool. It's going so fast you can't even see. But I dig it. I dig it. Okay, so the next thing. We said we were going to trap one of those nodes today. I unlocked a bunch of research regarding the node things. I also would like to get into, let's see. So I got this this whole thing, I thought this was gonna be another like um, bus, but this is actually a v, a v relay interface. So this should be able to get us to get like charging on our wand, super cool. And then let's see this thing, look at this. Infusion provider. So this is going to make it so that we don't have to set up jars around our infusion table anymore. It will know what 
essence is needed, and as long as we have it in our AE system, it'll pull right out and be like right here as if there are jars. So we never have to deal with these jars again, which is awesome. So I'd like to get that set up. I'm so happy about this. So I had to do this ritual right here, which was with the mirrored glass, iron, and a pearl. It really was no big thing than just Quicksilver. So that's that's nothing. Um, we'll just save time. So then I got to get these two salts, two air shards, and then two of the coalescence cores. So hopefully I have all that stuff in here. All right, got all the different things that we need. We just got to put an interface in the middle. All those set up, the mirrors are on the sides. I don't think it cost any magic to activate because I didn't see normally it would say wand cost. And there's no like wand or anything. So I don't think it really matters. And it's a moderate thing. Oh, yes, come on, do it for me, baby. Do it for me. Never make me worry about the jars again. Oh man, that machina it just takes so much of it. I found out though, I think, is it redstone? Yeah, redstone. I've been using redstone for that. If you guys ever have suggestions for some of the hard ones to get, what are like the best materials to smelt up? I did go and find some website that was would show me what each thing what each thing did and that was super helpful but I don't know if it included like all the stuff from all the mods within the pack so just good little tips or tricks but I'm digging this and as we are able to automate this more and more I really think Thaumcraft's going to be able to be a thing we haven't even gotten into like what are the cool items and stuff like why are we doing all this but just the fact that we're going to be able to automate it is awesome and I still wish there were speed upgrades in those oh man I should have another jar of that over here too I stopped labeling them just because I found it was annoying I still don't know if there's a way to take a label off a jar all right all right it's doing it come on baby If this is a moderate ritual, too, I can't imagine what the complex ones are. Those have got to be crazy and take forever. Come on! Yes! Oh, we did it. We did it. Gimme, gimme, gimme. We did it. We did it. All right, so let's get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Let's set that down. Once again, we can't right-click on it, but I'm assuming it's the exact same is the other one. We just got to put an interface probably next to it. Maybe even just wired in. I don't know. All right, guys. So I did a little bit of reading about the whole nodes thing. Um, I think we should move some nodes over before we go too crazy and start making new stuff. We'll test that out when we get back. But I really want to get to being able to get stabilized nodes in our base to recharge our wands normally. And I think this should be doable as well as getting it to charge up our wand in our AE system with this guy. But before all that, I think we're gonna have to test it out because it's confusing reading things sometimes for your first time. So in any case, let's go back to where we left off last episode and I said I was gonna trap a node in a jar. This doesn't look very complicated. I think we can do it. And I think we should probably go to a node that's kind of far away. In case we mess up, we're not we're not taking away nodes that are close by us. So pretty cool. And this definitely, this requires 70 of each of those aspects. So I'm going to go ahead, charge up my wands, find a node and we'll meet back. All right, guys. So I came across this little node here and it's a little guy, but I found it interesting that it had four different types. So I don't know if that's good or bad. You guys are going to have to let me know in the comments. What do you look for? Um, does it really matter? Is this just a baby node or is this good? Can we expand upon this? So I thought it, I thought that it's interesting. We have at least a bunch of different types. So let's go ahead and build this jar around it. I think, can we set, please let us set that down. Yes. Oh, that's going to make this so much easier. So we're just going to set a three by three of glass and then we surround it. And then we got to cover it. 
and then we put half slabs across the top. All right, and then I think we just right click it with our wand. Now I got the wand charged up. You can see you have at least 70 of everything. So, and by the way, we're only doing this on a node that we know is got its like full amount, that it's not something we just drained from. Now I'm gonna put on my Thaumic gear just so that we can hopefully get a cheaper cost in doing this. I think that's like the correct way to do it. Let's try it. Yes! We got a node in a jar. Oh, baby. Yes, node in a jar. Super cool. So our wand's pretty, pretty well drained. Oh, oh, let's get out of here. So I'm going to go around, keep on doing that, and let's see how many nodes we can get. Normal node. That doesn't sound bad. All right. So here's another way that you can have nodes, too, where they just have one, but they have a ton of it. In retrospect, that last node might have been kind of a duddy node, but this one looks pretty cool. Oh, oh, go away, zombie. Go away, don't, don't mess with our node. That's our node. Get out of here. Does that zombie look bigger? Oh my goodness, look at him, he's just getting bigger and bigger. Oh my god, he doesn't even have like a name. Holy cow, that was a big zombie. All right, let's hurry up and get this node. And we have over 70%. Bam! Got another node in a jar. Sweet. All right. And I figured I was having problems finding good fire ones, but I figured in the nether, there'd be a bunch of fire ones. And there was. And there was. So we're charged up again. This looks like a pretty boss one. We're getting Terra and Ignis. So pretty cool. Wham! Nice! Alright guys, so we're back with three different nodes in a jar. And it says we can just set it right down. Um, but I don't think we're supposed to set too many nodes together. So let's go ahead and let's make this thing. This is called a node stabilizer. And this will make it so the nodes, you can have several nodes... I gather and them not like get in the way of each other or try and suck each other up so and it also supposedly if you have like unstable nodes or something it can fix them might be able to fix them so arcane stone niter all that jazz bam got it so do I set the node down first or do I set the stabilizer down I don't know um I think I want to set this guy up though right here so let's move all these empty jars Let's try this out. Let's put a node stabilizer down. Nothing happens when I click on it. Um, let's move. Okay, all those. <laughs> let's try it. Which one should we try? Um, this is probably my best one. This one right here. I don't know if we should try it off the bat, but I'm curious. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's set it down. Oh. Okay, I want to just... How do you remove it? Gotta take that off. All right, let's do it again. We're gonna figure it out. Maybe shift right click? No. Um. Yes. Okay. I shift right clicked with the wand and it did it. Okay, so node stabilizer time. Oh, sweet. That is super sweet. All right, so this looks pretty safe and fairly easy. Now there's supposed to be some like other stuff that you can put around it. There's supposed to be something we put on top. Maybe harnessing. All right, guys, I think this should be pretty cool. So we got to make another node stabilizer thing. So let's go ahead and do that. Bam. And then we got to take this stabilizer and we can use this in a recipe. Yeah, this guy right here to make the node transducer. All right, check it out. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so we can throw this then on the top side. I thought that's how that's supposed to work. All right, so this is what it seems. It says the... Um, 
We put the node transducer above the node. When you apply the redstone signal to the transducer, the node will begin to convert to an energized node and quickly lose its stored V in the process. The process takes some time, but when it's done, the node will change to an energized node. And it keeps saying caution should, um, should be taken, or I hope we're taking all the cautions. Be taken um, to keep both the stabilizer and the transducer active from now on. Okay, and the energized nodes no longer store or recharge V, nor V can be drawn from them. But instead it will make this CV. Okay, so basically I think we just have to add a redstone signal to that guy. So let's try it. Lever lever. Oh man, I'm nervous. Don't, I hope we took all the right precautions. All right. Oh man, it's working. And it drains it all. So I think this is supposed to just take time. I don't know, guys. So I guess we'll leave that to do its thing. And then I guess come next episode, we'll see if it worked or not. If it works, then we'll try it with our other nodes in a jar. Um, let me know in the comments about these, though. Again, am, am I doing this right? Am I supposed to do it node by node? Or are you supposed to combine them somehow first? Dad, I don't know. I don't know. But we'll leave that be. We'll leave that be. And then next... Whoa. Oh, wait a minute. Did it, did it do it? Is it done? I feel like that might... That might be done. Oh, I don't know. I'm nervous. Um, I guess there's only one way to test this. I'll, I'll do it. I was going to wait till next episode. But um, we are going to make... We're going to make this thing. So this is a P2P tunnel with a balance of this shard. And we also need, I think, this Vise Relay. So let's grab the Vise Relay. And P2P tunnel with a balance shard. And that gives us our Vise Relay interface. Okay, and then I think this, we should have enough connections here. Alright, I guess this will just connect for now right there. And then we got to connect the Vise Relay like that. Okay, now they're connecting. And now we got to tell it where to send it to. And we wanted to send it to our arcane table. So I went, I made a memory card. And by the way, the P2P... That's an applied energistics thing. So you got to use the ME version. So not too complicated. You should be able to have followed that from our LP. So we got to shift right click on the relay. Okay, save settings. And then just right click on there. Loaded settings. All right, so now we should look at that. It's recharging our wand. Oh, that is so BA. So right now we have Terra and Ignis from this guy. If we get more of these nodes, we have one for all the different types. We should be able to recharge our wands while it's in the table to all the different types. How freaking cool is that? Oh man, I'm so excited. I'm so happy. This is so cool. So we just got to leave these running completely all the time. This one gets signaled to turn it off. This one gets signaled to turn it on. Oh man, that is so cool. That is so cool. So that guy's all charged up. That one we can charge up later. But we're probably going to want to put whatever our larger wands are in this thing. So sweet. Let me know in the comments, guys. Let me know about any of this stuff. Is there anything else I should be doing? And um, I think I'm going to try and trap in between this episode and next episode. Look at that. It's You can see it's switching over to the different types. 
Um, I'm gonna try and trap a node of every single type so we can get it here in our base. Super sweet! All right, I almost forgot. <sighs> Let's get off her hat. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Um, oh, man, we didn't get to test out our infuser thing. Dang it. Well, we, we got a more advanced node stabilizer that we'll have to test out for next time with it. I think that's pretty cool. Oh, I'm just loving Thomcraft with this AE. If you're loving it, too, make sure to hit that thumbs up. And until next time, peace out.